They've never lost in an Ireland quarter final. They're the reigning All Ireland champions. And Crow Park very much like a second home to them at this stage. They'll play in this second half from right to left, playing into an empty Hill 16. And we're off and running in this All Ireland Senior Championship quarter final. Aidan O'Shea, first chance for him to run right at the heart of this Cork defence, holding off Aidan Walsh, going for the score, but uh, shooting on the run and out to the left and wide. So much expectation on his uh, very broad shoulders again today. He'll be expected to, to put it up to his direct opponent, Aidan Walsh, and in partnership with his brother Seamus, ensure that Mayo win their fair share of ball around the middle of the field. Alan Quirk's kick-out breaks into the path of Paddy Kassan. And this is John Miskela. Both teams, uh, by the looks of things, lining up pretty orthodox for these first few minutes. There's a very slight breeze blowing into Cork's faces in this first half, but it's a very muggy and humid afternoon here in Dublin. And a very subdued atmosphere to boot as Noel O'Leary breaks forward down along the right-hand side. There's a diagonal ball in towards Donegal O'Connor. Backpedaling, gets up there above Jer Caffrecki. Caffrecki sticking to his task. And that ball eventually swept up by Keith Higgins. As Cork there tried to isolate Donegal O'Connor, who of course without his uh, regular partner in there today, Daniel Goulding. Whistle blown, free to Mayo. And Paul Early, still very early days, but uh, pretty orthodox by the looks of things. Mayo um, lining up man to man, but we do expect them to uh, set up a sweeper system pretty pretty uh, short. Absolutely, but that was a very important uh, dispossession there by Jarek Afriki. Uh, Donegal O'Connor did very well to catch the ball, but what Mayo can't afford, can't afford to do is to let Cork get an early start, an early goal. Uh, would give them the confidence to kick on and perhaps produce a performance like they did against Down last week. So uh, Mayo need to just uh, batten down the hatches. And you're right, Mike, I think they will play with an extra defender in front of the full back line. D Down didn't do that last week, uh, and it allowed Cork to run through the middle on so many occasions and get quite a few scores, particularly in the first half. Interestingly, Cork have uh, started Pierce O'Neill at centre-half forward, and Paddy Kelly has gone to the wing. And uh, so far... Donald Vaughan holding the centre. Here is Vaughan racing out towards that uh, Cusick stand side, but there was a push in the back of Tom Kniff, and Mayo take the free quickly, but uh, nobody on the same wavelength as the free taker, and Cork have possession. This is Paddy Kassan to Pierce O'Neill, as he spots a little gap, pops it off to Miskela. Mayo converging around Miskela quickly, and now Pierce O'Neill. Mayo trying to create a little shield there in front of the semicircle. Aidan Walsh kicking uh, very, very rashly. And that's gone well wide. Nothing on inside. Decided to uh, have a pot, Aidan Walsh. But what a big day it is for James Horan. He has delivered a Connacht kind of title in this, his first season. Also uh, kept Mayo in Division 1 of the National Football League. But adamant earlier on this week that his team are going to have a go at Cork, meet them head on, were his exact words. As Robbie Henley smashes this out towards his club mate, Seamus O'Shea, trying to hold off Alan O'Connor. O'Connor using his power there to win the second ball. Popped inside to Noel O'Leary. Trying to go through rather than round Andy Moran. And with a little help from Seamus O'Shea, Mayo have won that free. O'Leary barging with the ball, good pressure. Yeah, excellent pressure by Mayo. In fact, Cork have won the first three kickouts. Uh, uh, Seamus O'Shea has got his hands to the ball a couple of times, but uh, has broken to a Cork player. But that's good intensity in the tackle from Mayo. And they've done that in the league campaign. They did it very successfully against uh, Galway and Roscommon in the Connacht Championship. Two and three players going to the man in possession, dispossessing them without giving away any frees. Player standing over this is uh, young Killian O'Connor. This is his first appearance at Crow Park since the All Ireland minor semi final last August. He hit uh, six points in that game against Tyrone. Here he is trying to kick the first score of this All Ireland quarter final. Not going to carry, and Aidan Walsh claims it all for himself. Outside to Cadigan. Cadigan looking for Miskela. Pass a little overcooked, but it all worked out for Noel O'Leary. And now Cork will try and break at pace as they flood the Mayo half with bodies. Paddy Kassan taking that ball in his stride. 
Breaking away from the edge of the square is Donegal O'Connor. And now Fintan Gould, as Mayo try to get bodies back. Gould in over the top to O'Connor, lovely sidestep. Down he goes, in goes Rory Hickey, and it is a penalty. Five minutes gone, and Donegal O'Connor finding a gap, pulled to the ground, and Rory Hickey says penalty. Yeah, I, harsh penalty again, but he got in the front position, and when you do that, Jerk Haverkey put the hand in over the shoulder. There wasn't an awful lot in it. Uh, soft enough penalty in my view, but when you get caught behind the player, if you do tackle over the shoulder, the referee is usually going to give the benefit of the doubt to the player in possession, and uh, Cork have a great chance to get the first uh, goal of the game. Jerk Haverkey being spoken to by the referee. And he becomes the first player to be booked. Well, this is a big moment in this game. Imperative for Mayo that they didn't concede any big scores early on. They kept this game as tight as they could. And now all of a sudden, Dunnock O'Connor, who's already scored from the penalty spot this summer against Kerry in the Munster final, facing down Robert Henley. Big kick. And he's buried it. Beautiful finish by Donica O'Connor. Robert Henley beaten for just the fourth time this summer. He went the right way, but it was a daisy cutter, and Cork are out in front. Yeah, that's a fantastic penalty, and Donica O'Connor has done that so many times. We remember in the semi final against Dublin last year when Cork really needed the goal, put it inside that uh, same on the opposite side of the field, but put it right inside the left hand post and uh, did it again. Playing with great confidence at the moment, Donica O'Connor. So that's the perfect start for Cork. Can Mayo respond? Andy Moran flicking that ball through towards Alan Freeman. A little bit of work to do. Andy Moran has continued his run inside. He's faced out by Michael Shields. Moran barging through. He's gone down just on the edge of that uh, large parallelogram. It'll be a 13-metre free. Mayo claiming, I think, that Andy Moran was inside the square. It's going to be a free, and Noel O'Leary is going to be spoken to. Well, the referee was right on the line. He was in the perfect position to make the decision. It's a borderline call. I think he <laughs> may have just about got it right, but it's very, very borderline. But to be fair to Rory Hickey, he was about five metres directly in line, so he was in the best position to make the call. Well, there was an audible gasp from the Mayo supporters as that incident was replayed on the big screens here at Crow Park. A point from Killian O'Connor comes from that attack. Noel O'Leary has been booked. And it's a two-point game as we head uh, towards the ninth minute in what has been a pretty dramatic start to this game. Yeah, and it's very important that Mayo respond to that early score from Cork. And I see Noel O'Leary has uh, taken, taken up uh, marking duties on Andy Moran. And Andy is a very, very influential player for Mayo. And I think Cork have recognised that by putting probably their best man marker on him. Fine take by Seamus O'Shea and Alan Dillon goes direct in on top of Freeman. Broken away by Michael Shields and mopped up by John Miskela, who goes across the face of his own goal. And Alan Cork clears his lines as far as Finton Gould. Cork now trying to exploit any space they can find on this break. Kassan clipped into the centre towards O'Connor again. Gets there out in front of Tom Kniff. He's got Paddy Kelly away to his left. Instead, he pops it in towards Alan O'Connor. O'Connor, the Cork midfielder, who could pop up just about anywhere. Here he is again. All the inside men tightly marked as O'Connor pops that in in front of Fiacre Lynch. Timed his run well. Kick half blocked down. And there was a foul by Paul Kerrigan on Donald Vaughan. And Mayo get the free. But it's all very tight and tense in these first uh, nine minutes. Mayo doing everything they can to stay in this game for as long as they can as Trevor Mortimer pumps that in towards end of Varley getting his first championship start of the season going to take on Cotter wide on his own side he's very much a left-sided player end of Varley and there straight away made a quick angle for himself but unable to steer it between the posts as Alan Quirk pops this one out towards Pierce O'Neill Avoiding a contest around the middle. This is Owen Cadigan. And now Paddy Kelly. Still being shadowed by Trevor Mortimer. 
Little tug on the jersey, referee plays the advantage. Again, there's nothing obvious on inside as Cadogan finds his route to goal blocked by a couple of Mayo men. His arm tugged back, and that's another free to Cork. But certainly, they're having their work cut out, uh, so far at least, to find any obvious avenues of attack. They certainly are, and uh, playing a slightly different game than they played against Down. If remember last weekend, they kicked long early on to the full forward line. Mayo are dropping Donald Bohan back into the the uh, edge of the D, and uh, that's uh, impacting on their ability to kick quality ball inside. Well, that's one way to beat that uh, mass defence. Donnick O'Connor shooting on site. He got out in front of Tom Kniff, knew exactly where he was and what he wanted to do, and Cork lead by three again. That's a goal and a point now for Donegal O'Connor, the goal from the penalty spot. And the All-Ireland champions restore that cushion. Breaking ball, won by Finton Gould. Coming on the break is Pierce O'Neill. This is Kassan into Alan O'Connor. Lovely move, here's Kerrigan. He takes his point. He certainly had goal on his mind. Lovely move by Cork. They caught a great gap in the heart of that Mayo defence and they very nearly were in for a second goal. Yeah, that's beautiful interplay by Cork, but again, Mayo midfielder on that occasion was Aidan O'Shea, got his hands on the ball, but Cork knocked it out of his hands very quickly and they've picked up, I think Cork have won five or six of the seven kickouts so far, but most of them won on the ground, so their players are winning the breaks very, very effectively and uh, great team teamwork and a very good score. Robert Henley's kick out landing right on top of Aidan Walsh and this will allow Cork to go on the front foot through Paul Kerrigan again who's drifted out the field now to fill in as playmaker manages to find Fiacre Lynch the Valley Rovers man a late inclusion in this Cork team in place of Nicholas Murphy as Cork slow the game down Aidan Walsh just one man to aim at it has to be a precision pass batted away by Tom Kniff and cleared away by Robert Henley as Andy Moran goes back into his own defence to help out. Linking up here with Aidan O'Shea. Andy Moran, incidentally, who hasn't missed a league or championship game for Mayo for over five years. And ever present as he slips this through towards Alan Freeman. Thought about taking on Michael Shields, kicking from a very awkward angle. And that's gonna cross the face of the goal and wide. Yeah, of course, we have to remember Mayo haven't played in these type of conditions for quite some time. David Brady was mentioned on, on the uh, introduction and the analysis that uh, in both the Connex semi-final and final were played in atrocious conditions and didn't allow Mayo, I suppose, to play that quick ball into the forward line. They have a fast full forward line. Alan Freeman is very, very good when he gets the ball out, outside, but that was a poor miss. Noel O'Leary knocking it down the line to Paul Kerrigan, who gets it in front of Keith Higgins again. This is Fia Krilich going to take on Ger Kafferke. Down he goes. It's a free into Cork, and once more he was heading for the square. Jerk Africa, who's already on a yellow card and will have to be very careful, but he is finding Fiacre Lynch to be a real handful. Absolutely, and once again the player gets inside the defender, it's very, very difficult to, uh, to stop the attacking player without fouling him. On that occasion, I think he just, it was an accidental foot trip, so I think the referee was right not to take any decision. But Jerk Africa, you're right, Mike, he is on a yellow card very early in a big championship game to have a yellow over your head, so he has to watch himself for the rest of the game. And up comes Fenton Gould, he had a goal and two points here.